Hey guys, what's going on? It's that home theater dude. Got a brand new episode for today. Haven't seen you guys in a while, and I'm going to get to that in a second. But right here in front of me, I have phase three of the home theater renovation for 2019. I got the RMC1 from Emotiva. This is a 16 channel out of the box processor, and uh, it's expandable up to 28 channels. So this is going to be the new brains of the operation. I'm going to be going ahead and selling the Denon 4400. And then down here, since this doesn't have any internal amplifiers, down here, this is going to be uh, the rest of my amplifiers for the actual um, surround sound. And then I'm going to use my Arkham P1000 uh, for the height effects for just right now. So this is going to be a full 9.2.6 setup with this that I have in front of me. So I actually got a couple other things here. I got some XLR cables uh, from Amazon as well. So I will say this, over the past couple of months, I've been, you know, pulling my time from different things and I haven't necessarily been putting out a whole lot of content for you guys. And there's been a specific reason for that. A lot of uh, you folks have actually picked up on the fact that I've been dropping, you know, little bread tr breadcrumb trails the entire time from like the last uh, about five months or so. Um, if you guys haven't noticed already, uh, the wife and I just had our first firstborn and I'm adjusting to, you know, newborn life and parenting life and then running my channel and then all, all the other stuff. And then on top of that, um, during that same time frame, I went ahead and partnered with those guys at, yeah, at um, Dream Media Home Theaters. So um, now I am editing their videos, running their channels, and you know responding to all their, their comments. And don't, don't think that I, that I see you guys. I, a lot of my subscribers are actually on there commenting. So um, <laughs> I think it's actually really cool. Um, there, there's plenty of love to go around, and it's it's been real. Uh, it's it's been a whole lot of fun working with those guys, and then doing my own thing, and then just 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 the entire last couple months have been just been really cool. So really, thanks so much for the support guys it's been a lot of fun but i just want to go ahead and leave that little caveat because a lot of the things that go unexplained and i just want to go ahead and clear the air and let you guys know firsthand but i'm super excited about going and get this thing unboxed i'm going to go ahead and do it i'm going to go ahead and get this thing unboxed and then we're going to talk about everything else right after the intro All right, so I got a couple things from Amazon and I'm gonna kick this thing old school, guys. I mean, you guys know I like to do the time lapse um, for the unboxings, but I think since this thing is so so fresh and so clean, brand new, um, that I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys the full treatment on that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump into it. Here's some XLR cables I got from Amazon. Canary, actually really good. You're gonna need some balance cables, which, will, which is what these are. You're not gonna be able to use your standard unbalance, which is gonna be your RCA type of um, configuration. So let's go ahead and jump in the unboxing. And if you guys ever wonder why I'm using this big old knife, this is a K-Bar from the Marine. So just like to throw a little, little tips of the cap to my time in service. So this thing's only supposed to weigh 30 pounds, so I'm not expecting it be a backbreaker or anything. It's double boxed, which is actually really cool. So in the box, you're gonna get an actual thank you letter from Emotiva, and you're gonna have your standard, looks like the owner's manual. Microphone stand, microphone. Let's just go ahead and show you. It's a nice calibrated microphone. It even says Emotiva on it. That's really cool microphone patch cable not much to look at there and then this is actually really cool this is an all metal remote it's pretty beefy it's, it's, it has some weight to it let's go ahead and check this thing out dang this is sturdy so let's go ahead and see if I can show you that so it's got a lot of the emotiva type of things the positive feedback on these is actually really nice as well I'm not sure if you can hear, actually hear the clicking, but all metal constructions, very, very, has a great feel in the hand. And it has that same type of brushed aluminum that you'll see on a lot of the Emotiva products on the face here. So that's actually really cool. I'll be getting to this in a minute. So this thing looks very well packaged in here, especially for something that's gonna be their, their flagship processor. You're also gonna have these are called accessories. So I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these real quick and I'll do the, the big one. So here is the speaker stand for the calibrated mic to be used in conjunction with Dirac whenever it becomes available. So really simple. 
mic stand. And then in the accessory box two, got a bunch of things in here. All right, so an accessory box two, it looks like we have some antennas. It comes with a USB, and I'm sure that that has the brand new update on it. And then you have your power cable and then a couple batteries. These are actually goofy looking batteries that I'm not necessarily used to, um, but it comes with some really small batteries. So I'll go ahead and let you guys know which size they are in a minute. So apparently this is an LR1 1.5 volt. So there you go. This is actually a lot lighter than I thought it was gonna be. Also comes with another antenna. The anticipation is killing me. All right, check that thing out, man. Look at that thing. I think it's sweet. All right, so I know you guys like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off real quick. So with this, these are two OLEDs in the actual front. And then this is kind of like, a, if you have a BMW or anything like that, it's kind of directional. So you're gonna be able to function or circle through the, the menu using that one as well. Your standby button, and then you have um, your auxiliary in, headphone out, and then you also have a patch on front for the USB. So if you have this tucked away or you know it's in a rack mount, you can just use the USB on the front rather than on the back, because there is one on the back. Let's go ahead and flip this around, show you. And don't worry, in a minute I'll go ahead and show you the close-ups. All right guys, so here's the back of the unit. Very, very simple. You know, like I was talking about, you have your two antennas for people that still use this thing for an FM or AM radio. And then you have eight of your HDMI inputs right here. Pretty much anything that's in this gray is gonna be an output. So keep that in mind. You have two HDMI outputs. These are full 12, or correction, these are full 18 gigabit uh, second, four by four by four color space. The full shebang is gonna be coming through uh, these guys to your actual device. And this thing does Dolby Vision and it does, you know, um, Atmos as well as, you know, DTSX and whatnot. Over here, you're gonna have your analog ins. You're gonna have balanced analog ins. So these are gonna be um, your XLR type of connections like I was showing you earlier. Your digital out is gonna be coaxial, toss link out. You're gonna have your digital ins via coax, toss links. And then you're gonna have an AES EVU in, which is gonna be a digital, um, a, a, a digital XLR type of connection. And this is a, actually a special XLR connection, so keep that in mind. I'm gonna go ahead and make a video about that because I know I ran into a lot of problems whenever I was buying XLR cables for this actual unit. There was a lot of research that I did behind it and it's, it's just a sea of information whenever you start talking about cables. So I'll go ahead and jump to that in another video. Over here, you have your network ends, ethernet cable, as well as your USB. You have your IR blaster ends and you have these IR blaster outs. And this one's actually cool because you have four of these triggers. And if, if you guys have been following my channel, you guys have known that whenever I'm talking about you know, electronics, you have a way of whenever you turn on one electronic. So if you turn this on with your remote, it's gonna be able to send a signal through these ports to turn on other type of equipment. So if you have amps that you wanna turn on, or if you have a projector that you wanna turn on, um, this basically happens that way. And that happens via, it's called a mono cable. It's like a mono audio cable. It's called mono oral. You know, it goes by all those names. But basically, it's it's, it's an auxiliary cable like you have with like your old type of uh, iPod and stuff like that. But it has one of the rings instead of two. So these are actually really cool because they're configurable. So you can actually have each in individual one of these do different things at different times. So if you want to have this one come on just whenever this main one comes on, you can have that program that way. Then you have this one for zone two, and then all kinds of different stuff. But I'll jump into that probably in a later video. Down here, you're gonna have your zone outs like I was talking about over here, if you wanna have it, you know, your device turn on that way. And then down here, you have all of the goodies. So like I was talking about, you have that 16 channel type of operation. That 16 channels total. So think about if you have a 11.2 point, I guess that would be it, 11.2 receiver. You're gonna have 13 total channels. This one has 16 total channels. So that means that you're gonna be able to have, if you're gonna be doing that full nine point, 
1.6 like I was talking about earlier. This is all it's set up for at the current time. You can add these expansion modules and then basically what you do is these get popped in and then you're gonna have up to another four channels of processing via these. So it's four, four, and four. So 16 now, 12 later if you wanted, or you can just do one at a time or two or however many you wanna do it. But in, in my configuration, what I'm gonna be doing is since this says center sub, I'm gonna be using um, an XLR from this to my subwoofer over there. And then that subwoofer is gonna have the subwoofer out pass um, the signal to my other subwoofer. So it's gonna be the same signal. A lot of people do that. I mean, whenever you're daisy, daisy chaining, that's exactly the way it happens. Typical power switch, power cord in. So let's go ahead and flip this thing around to the front. So another thing I forgot to mention is that whenever you actually order this thing, well, in the unboxing, you're going to have these trigger cables. These are actually included. So they get they actually give you one to start with. And I mean, if you want to buy more like I did, <laughs> you, you can do that as well. I'm, uh, I'm trying to set up a lot of devices going at the same time. And a uh, trigger is probably the best way to do it, especially since that's just the way a lot of these manufacturers recommend that you actually hook these things up so that they cross talk to each other. Also, I wanted to say before we jump into anything else, these are XLR cables. If you guys haven't seen them before, they're a lot different than your standard um, unbalanced cables. These actually have three little leads in them. I'm not sure if you can see it, but I'll try to show you. Three little leads. And these are four individual cables. So these are actually from World's Best Cables on Amazon. And I'll go ahead and talk about that a little later on in another video. But let's go ahead and power this thing on for the first time. All right, so that's it. Uh, this thing just powered on for the first time. It took a little while, but I think that, you know, since it's coming out of its initial dormant state, that it's gonna take a little time. You're, there's also an, a, a, like a, a special standby mode that you can do that what, what, what actually it does is, you know, you can pass your um, signal through without actually having to turn this thing on. So sometimes, you know, if you don't wanna have the, the full big stereo on, um, you can have that specially configured standby mode to where this thing doesn't necessarily 100% turn on it kind of just does like a little pass through, which is actually really cool. Um, so, since this is the first time I've turned it on, I'm just seeing this as you guys see it as well. There's a lot of cool things in this actual thing, in, in this actual processor that aren't necessarily seen in other units. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump into all the features pretty much in a later episode. But um, you know, you have, these are all configurable as well. And then you have your volume, simple. It's got a really nice touch to it as well really like the elegant, simple design on this, and it, it has a lot of stage presence. I wish I could put it, put it front and center in my actual home theater, but um, I'm actually gonna be rack, rack mounting this one, as well as pretty much all of the rest of my gear. All right, guys, well, that was the unboxing of the Emotiva RMC1. This is their flagship preamp processor. This has 16 channels, fully expandable, up to 28 channels if you so desire. <laughs> and the cool thing about this amplifier is that it's, it's pretty much unheard of to have something like this at this price point. Now, if, if you're looking at, you know, 28 channels, like I was just talking about, you're looking at those big, like commercial type of brands, you're gonna have them installed by, you know, um, a, a professional, rather than you, you being able to actually do it yourself. And you're looking at the price difference of uh, $20,000. Because whenever you're actually looking at those models, those, those preamp processors, those start at around 25,000 and up. Um, so it's, it's, it's just ridiculous to have this type of technology expandable. And um, the reason why I really like this, this actual product in the first place, I, I, I actually heard Dan Lofman say that their, their philosophy behind their products is that, you know, why throw them away? As technology advances, basically what they do is they allow, you know, for expansion of the actual uh, channels in the back. So if you want more speakers, you can have more channels. If you want more subwoofers, same thing. And as you know, we do the shift from you know the format wars. If it, if, it, if the dust is ever going to settle, 
from 4K to 8K or beyond or whatever it is, you can actually swap out this actual um, board so that it'll be able to handle the 8K processing as well. So just, just think about that. that. That was the main reason why I was attracted to this. It's, it's kind of like future-proofing your system and it's very, very noble and, and it's, it's, it's like the pioneer type of spirit that someone would actually think about doing this. And I am so excited to actually get this thing hooked up. I got a couple more things coming for the actual channel. So just stay tuned guys, it's coming very, very soon. But uh, this one, I'm actually going to have it rack mounted and I'm gonna be doing it very, very shortly. So I'm gonna be doing a couple of video series or a, a video series very, very recent or very soon. And I'm gonna talk about, you know, uh, XLR cables. I'm gonna talk about triggers. I'm gonna talk about setting this thing up. I'm gonna talk about all the features that goes on with this one. This is probably gonna be a good five or six video series on all the features going on in this thing. How to get it set up, you know, the, the different advantages of it, the different menus and all, the, all kinds of stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. All right, guys, well, I'm going to go in this video here. Don't forget, I'm an Emotiva affiliate. If you guys want links to this actual product, I'm going to go ahead and leave it down in the description. So if you guys want to go ahead and, you know, purchase this one or even check out, you know, just some of the specs, just go ahead and check out in the description. It'll be right there. And I'm an Emotiva affiliate, SVS affiliate, Worldwide Stereo affiliate that is Klipsch as well as a ton of other, other products and Amazon. So if you guys want links to any of that stuff, don't hesitate to go down in the description. And as, if you don't see anything you like, then go ahead and ask me for, uh, you know, a link in the comments. Really appreciate all the love and support you guys have given over the last year and a half. I'm about to hit 4 million views and 20, I think I'm already past 24,000 subscribers. So it's been a lot of fun guys. And it's, it's, this, this is just the beginning. So I hope you guys enjoy the journey as much as I did. And I will go ahead and uh, end this video here and I'll catch you guys in the next video.